Welcome to another Midweek Moment. Today we celebrate the Feast of Saint Scholastica, so I would like to begin with the prayer for her Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. As we celebrate anew the memorial of, of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. If you still have not yet made, been able to make a commitment to the annual Catholic appeal, there is still time. There, are, there is a text to give option, which, will be, which has been emailed to all of the parishioners. But if you still have any further questions about the appeal, Nancy Pfeiffer will be able to assist you. If you still have any dried palm branches from previous Palm Sundays at home, this weekend will be the last, week, last opportunity to bring them to church to be burned in anticipation of Ash Wednesday. We'll, we will burn the old palms this coming Sunday, February 14th, after the 11.30 a.m. Mass in the South parking lot. Ash Wednesday will be a week from today, February 17th. We will have Masses at 8 a.m. and 7 p.m., and ashes will be distributed in the church throughout the day. We are again in need of volunteers to help with our safety protocols, most especially for funerals. If you can volunteer, please connect with Sheila or Ed Pluchart. We also welcome back Deacon Rich Miska and his wife Irene to St. Julie. The two of them have a long history with the parish because Deacon Rich uh, began here as a parishioner and eventually was ordained a deacon while he was here. Deacon Rich had been assigned to St. Terence. He has chosen to retire but will be assigned to us as a senior deacon. As such, his responsibilities will be, will be minimal, which will also help him and Irene to be able to enjoy retired life. Either way, we are lucky to have them back, and so Deacon Rich will be the homilist at the 9.30 a.m. Mass on Sunday, February 14th. As I mentioned, today is the Feast of St. Scholastica. She is the twin sister of St. Benedict, who is known as the founder of Western monasticism. St. Scholastica was herself a Benedictine sister living in a cloister, in the cloister of an abbey. Born in the year 480 of wealthy parents in central Italy, Scholastica and Benedict were raised together until he went off to Rome to continue his studies. Benedict eventually founded the Benedictine Order of Monks, of Priests, and Brothers. Saint Scholastica followed the example of her brother and founded the counterpart Order of Benedictine Sisters, who also lived as contemplatives. The well-known story of, about Saint Scholastica deals with one day when she was visited by her brother at her own abbey. According to the rule of the monastery, when given permission to leave for a visit with family, Monks and sisters were to return to their respective monasteries before sundown. Benedict was on, was, on such, was on such a visit. And during the visit, the siblings were enjoying an engaging conversation about the spiritual life. They sat in the garden of Scholastica's monastery under a gazebo. Scholastica was so engrossed with the conversation that she did not want it to end. At one point, her brother began to insist that they end the visit so that he might return to his respective monastery. Scholastica did not want to stop talking about the graces of the spiritual life with her beloved twin brother. But when Benedict kept refusing and insisting that he must leave with the other monk who accompanied him, Saint Scholastica turned to God. She immediately folded her hands and prayed quietly. And at the, end of the, at the end of her prayer, a strong storm suddenly came down upon the area. Heavy winds and torrential rains made it impossible for St. Benedict to make the trip back to his monastery. And so he had no choice but to stay where he was. When he, re when he realized his predicament, he looked at his sister and asked what she had done. Scholastica responded, I asked a favor of you, and you refused. I asked it of God, and he granted it. 
A few days later, St. Benedict was in his cell inside his monastery. He looked out a window and saw the soul of his sister rising to heaven in the form of a dove. And he knew that his, sis that his saintly sister's life on earth had ended and her new life in heaven was beginning. And so he had her buried in the tomb that he had prepared for himself. Saint Scholastica is represented by several symbols, two of which you will see in this image before you. She is oftentimes depicted carrying a book which represents the rule of Saint Benedict, the rule that governs monasteries of men and women that follow in his footsteps, from then until now. She holds a dove, representing, of course, the dove that Saint Benedict saw carrying her soul to heaven. Saint Scholastica sometimes is also shown carrying a crozier, a bishop's staff, which is not depicted in this image in front of you. But as the founder of the Order of Benedictine Sisters, she is seen as being an abbess. And so an abbess is the female counterpart of an abbot, who is the leader of a male monastery. Both abbots and abbesses have been understood as being shepherds of their respective communities. And so an abbot and abbess would be given similar symbols like that of a bishop, including a pectoral cross, a ring, and a crozier. Abbots would also be given a mitre, which abbesses at one time also received, but no, but no longer. Saint Scholastica is the patron saint of nuns and education. Her intercession is sometimes invoked for protection against storms and rain. Let us again close with a prayer in her honor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty God, in your goodness, you called the Virgin Scholastica to embrace the monastic life of her brother Benedict. Through her prayers, help us to hear your call in our lives and at our deaths, grant that we might praise you forever in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.